Good afternoon, I'm Stephanie Strand here at the afternoon session of the seventh day of the 43rd General Council here in Oshawa, Ontario. I am with the leading elders of All Native Circle Conference, one of the co-hosts of General Council 43 along with Bay of Quinty Conference. I'm here with leading elder Reverend Nelson Hart and leading elder Reverend Bernice Soto. Nelson, how has your experience been at this General Council? Well, my experience at this General Council is sometimes it's confusing, <laughs> but uh, I went along with what has been said and I share what I know concerning uh, the procedures and the changes of the conference. Mm -hmm. And Bernice, how has this General Council been for you? To me, it's been uh, a moving uh, experience in, in in the change that's coming for the Native Indigenous Church and and I see that uh, with the youth program last night it was very promising with hope that as we get older and they take over that they are doing an excellent job. And so I, of all the general councils I've attended, I think this one has uh, been very educational to me because, I guess maybe because of the change that's coming. And, uh, and I think we're at the point now where I feel that our voice has been strongly heard. It took this long, but we had to work slowly at all the issues. Thank you very much, Bernice, that's, that's very true. So what are you most looking forward to in these new changes in the new Indigenous organization and the regions coming up? Well, I'm hoping that as the regions are developing, that some of us I think are going to be going back to the regions and it's this is a time where I know some of the people don't want to go to a region they still want to have you know the the all native circle conference to continue mm -hmm. <laughs> so it it's a difficult uh, time for us in in that change because it's like we're going backwards you know so, but in that change, if we are going backwards, how are we going to work with the conference that we have come from? That's very true. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you. And Nelson, do you have any final thoughts as we're heading into our last afternoon session here in Oshawa? Well, my final thought is that uh, I want to see the, the outcome of the, the change. Mm -hmm. It's not only the change in the church, but also an, an, a change in, in the climate and we're part of the change and we want to see, I want to see what uh, our children can do if they become uh, because there's lo a lot of young people out there that still want to be part of the church and they, I think for some they're not ready for that but yet when they're, when they're in trouble or they need help they come to us for support and for prayer. That's all I, that's all I see. One of the, the divisions that I see within the Native uh, Indigenous Church is because uh, we have lost our culture, our language, our traditional ways, and we're starting to learn learn it again. It's never been lost, it's been hidden. And so now some of our people who were United Church members are going into being traditional uh, ways of, of religion, I'd call it, um, ceremonies. And so some of our people have um, put the two together, the Christian and the traditional, 
and some have left the church altogether. And, and that, that is a struggle for us. Um, the young people, I find, are, uh, are eager and willing and want to know about the two. And, and I think that's very important because they are the future of the church. And after we're gone, they're going to have a different way of uh, serving our Creator within those two, the Christian and the traditional. Thank you to Reverend Nelson Hart and Reverend Bernice Soto, the leading elders of All Native Circle Conference, for joining me on the afternoon of the seventh day of General Council 43.